Next question is there on your screen. So this question is on equations. See, uh, whenever there are questions on uh, quadratic equations, okay, uh, there is a method called as the sign method. At times using this method, you can arrive at the answer uh, faster. Okay, you just need to remember one table for that. See, if you have a quadratic equation, let us say ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. If there is a quadratic equation like this, okay. Now, uh, what I can say about uh, bx, c, right. So, you just have to remember this table, okay, plus, plus. See, it's like this. I'm drawing remember this diagram that I'm drawing, something like this, then you have all the other uh, places where you have not put plus, just put minus. See what this picture represents is, if you have a quadratic equation of the form, uh, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, right, where bx, the sign before bx is positive and the sign before c is positive, then the sign, the, see this equation is going to have two roots. Let us assume one is a smaller root and one is a bigger root, correct? So the sign of the smaller root will be negative and the sign of the bigger root will also be negative. Okay, that is what this table says. Similarly, if you have uh, a quadratic equation where the uh, sign before bx is minus and the sign before c is plus, then the smaller root will always be positive and the larger root will also be positive. Okay. Similarly, when you have uh, the sign before bx is positive and the sign before c is negative, the smaller root will always be positive and the larger root is going to be negative, right? See, you just have to draw this diagram, right? Just draw this four columns, one, two, three, four, four this thing, then just put plus symbols like this in the form of a c. Similarly, plus, 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 put this plus like this. Right? Wherever there is no plus, just put minus there, fill it up with negative and then this is bx, this is c, this is the smaller root, this is the bigger root. Okay? This is the diagram that you just have to remember because uh, in lot of questions, directly by looking at the equation, you will be able to say about the roots of the equation. See, for example, take this question itself. Now, for this question, 3p squared minus 54p plus 231 is equal to 0. So what is the symbol before he, uh, 54 here? The symbol before 54 is negative, correct? And here it is plus. So the symbol before bx is minus and that before c is plus. So both the roots of this equation are going to be positive. Similarly, look at this equation again, the symbol here is negative and this is plus. So both the roots of this equation here are going to be positive. In lot of questions, what happens is if you know this method, that see in some cases the question will be like this. Uh, in one of the, uh, um, I mean in one of the cases both the roots will be positive and for the other equation both the roots will be negative. If you directly look at the question itself, you should be, you will be able to say that, correct? So you needn't waste so much time actually finding out the root and giving the answer, okay? Now let us start solving this question. So, what is given here? See, you have 3p square minus 54p plus 231 is equal to 0. So, how do you solve that 3p squared minus 54p plus 231 is equal to 0? So, whenever you have this a, right, if a is greater than 1, any other value other than 1, what you do is you multiply this a and c, correct? This is of the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So, coefficient of a here, I mean, coefficient of x square here, here is 3. Correct? And C is 231. So, what is 231 into 3? Uh, here I am multiplying A and C. Correct? Coefficient of A and C. So, that is 231 into 3 that is equal to 693. So, now I have to find two numbers in such a way that when I add those two numbers, the answer that I get should be equal to minus 54 and the product of the two numbers should be equal to 693. So, how do I find out the two numbers? Again, the easier way to find out the two numbers is to just factorize this 693, correct? If I take the factor, uh, factors of 693, I get 3, 3, 7, 7, 11, correct? So, now uh, which two numbers? Uh, look at these factors and decide which two numbers when you add, you should get minus 54 and when you multiply, you should get 693. See, 11 threes are 33, 7 threes are 21. So, if I add 33 and 21, 11 threes are 33, 7 threes are 21. If 
I add 33 and 21, I get 54. Similarly, when I multiply 33 and 21, I get 693. Correct? So, the numbers that we are looking for is 33 and 21. So, you can split this given equation like that. Okay. Again, if you know the sign method here, uh, solving it will become easier. See, what do I know? Uh, I, I need two numbers. So, I have got 33 and 21. These are the two numbers. When I add these two, I get the answer as 54. When I multiply these two, I get the answer as 693. Now, what you do is, so I know I have 33 and 21. Now, divide this 33 and 21 by the value that is given here. What is 33 by 3? 33 by 3 is 11 and 20, 21 by 3 is 7. So, the required roots that we are looking for is 11 and 7. That's all. And you know by sign method the roots are positive. So, plus plus. See, the best thing about this method is generally how will we solve it? Once you know this, once you have identified these numbers, what you do is you put it here, uh, write the whole expansion, try to uh, take the factors, common factors and then find the answer. Okay. See, we found out the two numbers, right, whose product is 693 and whose sum is minus 54. So, how did I find that out? I took the factors of 693. With the help of that, I was easily able to identify the two numbers. So, once you get this, always divide this. This You see, you got 33 and 21, correct? 33 and 21 is what we got. And the sign, you know, already using this method, right? See, it is minus and plus means both the roots are going to be plus. So, both are going to be plus. So, you get the roots of the first equation, okay. Now, let us do, try to do the roots of the second equation the same way, okay. So, that you will understand it better, right. So, the, for the first equation, we got the roots as 11 and 7. See, uh, what I wrote seemed lengthy, but it's actually very, very easy if you understand it correctly. So, I think when I explain the second one, all of you will understand it better. So, what is the second equation? It is 6q squared minus 50q plus 56 is equal to 0. So, I am just going to uh, further factorize it, okay, so because there is two common here. So, I am just writing it as uh, 3q squared minus 25q plus uh, 56 uh, divided by 2, that is 28 is equal to 0. Again, here, uh, before, B, that is minus bx and plus. So, if you remember the table that we drew, we had... Um, plus plus minus minus then minus plus means it will be plus plus correct this is the bx c smaller root and the bigger root okay so we know the roots of this equation is also plus plus both the roots are going to be positive now you have uh, 3q squared minus 25q plus 28 is equal to 0 so here multiply 28 and 3 what do you get 28 and 3 is 84. So, when you are multiplying two numbers, you should get the product as 84 and the sum should be equal to minus 25. What are two such numbers that you have? See, 21 into 4, correct? That will give you 84. Similarly, uh, minus 21 minus 4, that's going to give you tw minus 25, correct? So, minus 21 and minus 4, correct? You have two numbers, 21 and 4. When you multiply the two numbers, you get uh, 84 and when you add them, you get 25, correct? So, what have I told you? See, whenever you get 21 and 4 as the two numbers, it is 3. So, divide it by 3. So, you have 7 and 4 by 3. Now, what are the sign? What is the sign here for uh, 7 and 4 by 3? The sign is positive, correct? Both are going to be positive. So, the required roots here are 7 and 4 by 3. See, how fast you got the answer. I hope it is clear now. You don't, uh, see, uh, the best thing about this method is that here you needn't actually write down. Generally, what we will do, we will factorize it and write. See, we generally write it as 3q squared minus 21q minus 4q. Like that we write, we take out the values, factors and then again write. That you can omit here. So, this is what we get. So, for the first equation, P, we get it as 11, 7. Q, we get it as 7 and 4 by 3. So, definitely you can say that either P is equal to Q or always P is greater than Q, right? So, the answer for this question is option 4, that is P is greater than or equal to Q.